Burns family and friends tonight mourning the deaths of two Gatesville High School students. This weekend they died. The 16 year olds have been identified now as Kyle Tennyson and Ethan Sandell, a third teenage passenger inside the car still in the hospital. Fox 44's Anna Thrash was at the crash site today and spoke with the victim's family. Anna. That's right, Leslie and Robert. When I spoke to the family of Kyle Tennyson, they'd just gotten back from the funeral home. His father says that his son's life was cut too short. It's just rough. They sh we shouldn't be burying our children. It's so sad. A hole's been just ripped in me that I will never get back and never. You can see the emotions that Kyle Tennyson's father is trying to hold back as he prepares to say goodbye. 16 year old Kyle Tennyson and 16 year old Ethan Sandal died when the truck they were in crashed into a tree just after one in the morning Saturday on Cedar Ridge Road in Gatesville. We're told a third teenager by the name of Dylan was also in the truck. He is at a hospital with injuries. My, me and my dad seen it and he ran down there, called 911 and noticed that they, uh, two of them didn't have a pulse and then one of them did. Tennyson's father believes the trio was drinking that night. Bad decisions were made that night. And now we've got three families. We got a whole community that's grieving over yes. this. It ain't just us. While other students return to school, one friend who didn't want to be identified couldn't bear to go to class without them. Me and Kyle in several classes sat at a table, just me and him. And I knew I wasn't going to be able to do it if I sat down and he wasn't going to be there. Now the family wants to use their loved one's deaths as a lesson to other students. We know it's going to happen. This is not going to change the world. I wish it could because that's how spectacular he is. He could have changed the world. That's how pure he, his soul is. And a funeral for Ethan will be set for Thursday while Kyle's will be on Saturday, but a joint vigil for both of them will be at Gatesville High School on Friday. And you can also find more information and details as well as GoFundMe pages on our website, syntexproud.com. Live in the newsroom, Anna Thrash, Fox 44 News.